So today I'll be showing you how to attach dowel to the top of your wall hanging. Now it is um, a little bit awkward, we're going to be using the single crochet method. It just takes a little bit of practice um, and it also does look better if you can get your tension right. So you may have to have a go um, two or three times just to make sure it's, it looks pretty. So we're going to start with a slip knot and then we'll attach our yarn to our hook. And then we're going to pop the dowel on top of the yarn and the hook. We'll yarn over and pull through. And then working over the top of the dowel because now it's between the hook and the yarn. We're going to wrap our yarn over and pull through and finish our single crochet. So we'll do that in every stitch across. So into the next stitch, we'll insert our hook, coming up behind the dowel, we'll wrap our yarn and pull through. And then we'll yarn over and pull through both loops on our hook to finish that single crochet. And again, And we'll do that all the way along the row. As I say, it can be a little bit awkward, especially if you, you haven't tried this technique before. Um, but do try and keep your tension as consistent as possible. And I promise it's worth the effort once you get to the other, other side. So I'll work along along my wall hanging and I'll meet you at the end. So this is my last stitch. As you see, I like to just pop my single crochets up top so it effectively hides the dowel but I mean you can push it down if you want. So that was the last single crochet done and then we need something to actually hang it with. So we're going to chain um, I'm going to do 42 and see how long it is for this one. So there's my chains all completed and that's going to make quite a nice length to hang the wall hanging so I'm happy with that. You can make it longer or shorter if you would like to. And then all I'm going to do is with that last chain I'm just going to slip stitch into that first stitch. And pull through. This can be a little bit awkward. Pull through and then just fasten it off. And that is your wall hanging completed. Just need to sew in those two ends. I do hope you've enjoyed this tutorial today. If you have, please consider liking and subscribing to the channel. Don't forget to hit that little bell icon to be notified of whenever I update with any videos, etc. And I'll see you soon. Bye.